Circuit. Grant, obviously a, a difficult start for you today, mm -hmm. and I really admire the fact that you were able to rally from three over through your first seven holes. How were you able to bring it back on a difficult golf course? You know, I think I did a really good job of just kind of staying patient, realizing that this back on this golf course is a tough stretch. And um, I hit a few, didn't drive as good yesterday, today as I did yesterday, and that's going to put you behind the eight ball here. So um, I told myself to stay patient. You're going to have a stretch like that. Of course, 72 holes, especially on a golf course, is tough. And um, to hang in there. I knew I was swinging at it pretty well. I just had to kind of get my timing back and did a great job on the front nine of doing that. You had an early tee time. I always think that the greens may be a little bit softer with mm -hmm. the morning dew, but you pay for that if you hit it in the rough because <laughs> that wet Bermuda rough makes things really difficult. How did you find the golf course at 7.30 this morning? Yeah, uh, you, you hit it right on the head. Yeah, that, that rough was very penal this morning. And, and so you missed the fairway. There was no no guarantee you get anywhere near the green. It comes out wet and dead, doesn't go very far. So you know, a few times I did miss the fairway, I paid the penalty. Um, but, you know, had perfect greens, no excuses not to, you know, not, not to make some putts. Just kind of everything was just a little bit off today. My driver wasn't great. My irons weren't great. Luckily, I was able to kind of survive and uh, keep myself in the tournament. And I'll work on it this afternoon. I think I'll be good to go for tomorrow. I'll be excited for the weekend. Didn't take advantage of the par fives no. that you did in, in the opening round. You yeah. only get three of them. Was that due to, to position off the tee? It was. Yeah, I hit a bad tee shot on 16, which is just boneheaded for me. I, I you know, hit one in the water there and made bogey. Um, you know, made a good birdie on two or on three and then had a chance on eight. So, um, you know, playing even par today is, is the reason why my score wasn't better. You, you, you have to get after these par fives, make some birdies, because there's so many long par fours that are going to put you behind the eight ball that you need to take advantage of the scoring holes when you can. Do you expect scoring to be better on the weekend as players get more familiar with the golf course and tour officials uh, become more familiar with, with where you can and cannot put hole locations? Yeah, you know, I think, obviously, they're going to move some tees back. They play a lot of tees up the first couple of days just to get guys around. So I don't think they're going to play a whole lot easier. You know, they've got plenty of length here to move it around. So far, they've done a great job of kind of keeping us guessing on where the tee boxes are going to be. But there's a lot of length here they haven't used yet. So I've got a feeling they're going to want to use it on the weekend. Looking forward to watching you play. Yeah, should be fun. Thanks. Appreciate it, Fred. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Brent. Yeah.